So people, it's really important that you take me seriously. I do not joke with you. I want, I'm a pretty person, people. <laughs> Uncle Festering Drag. <laughs> episode how do you do into webbers and webber welcome to stories of my life so today i am meeting up with christian we are going to have um lunch let's do lunch and i'm also going to give him a gift some stuff <laughs> well some stuff that is his and some stuff that i sort of thought he might enjoy first now the, the sun is shining and i'm going to meet him in about two hours so i'm going to go into serda and uh, you know, check out some second-hand stores. Yes, yes. So now, people, time to go into Söder. Say after me, please, listeners. Söder. So people, <laughs> I've been pedaling uphill. Here's Christian's atelier. Let's go inside, people. Look at this. I think he made these out of scarves. Not sure. No, maybe not. Hello. Hello dear. Put that on your head. Oh my God. What are you working on now? Some of the <laughs> giving him gifts Look, that's for bad. birds for like <laughs> yes you should have it on your head oh my god <laughs> so shirt look at that yeah. is this different yeah it's different you sort of it's made from scraps yes this is christian shirts. different shirts and all this is also different this is also different shirts that, this is great you think yes thank you and this, oh my God, it used to be one of those um, curtains. curtains. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, people, contact Christian Hellenfeld, Stockholm. It's that that's guy me. there. If you need <laughs> like a hat or two hats or, or shirts three. or three hats. So these are sort of scraps, he made sort of the fabric. So people, it's really important that you take me seriously. I do not joke with you. I want, I'm a pretty person, people. <laughs> Uncle Fester in drag. <laughs> Christian is closing the boutique. Yeah. And we are off to eat some bun. I, I, I don't remember, it's, it's a restaurant called Bun Bun. That's where we're going. Sounds great. We're at Magnus Lodlos Gotan at a restaurant called Ban Ban, and we're going to go in and buy some Ban Mi, I think. I'm not sure what you're going to buy. What do you want? I don't know. I have to look at the menu. Okay. He's that kind of person. So here we are. Sitting here. So people, vegan Ban Mi. This is so good. Was the food fantastic? Yes, it was really good. It's a fantastic fika and, and talk and we will do it soon again. I hope so. It was very nice. Take care. So people, I always thought that Sweden was a country with two seasons, winter and summer. But now, it seems like we had a really short summer. But the longest autumn this autumn is sort of like we're in the middle of October and it's, I don't know, I feel like this autumn, it doesn't want to grow up. It's sort of still in its teens. 
in its teens. That's the thought of the day. I'm a very deep person with lots of thoughts that goes around in my head. It's well, on my way home, I'm just going to stop at one more second-hand shop. This one is on the street Hornsgatan. It's called Nyrena and that means the ants. I don't know, maybe because they work like ants. Ants, like the little insects, the ants. I don't know. word of the day from some I don't know teenagers <laughs> they were sort of I fucking love you and they sort of they and then they sort of walked away sh chanting Swedish word of the day Swedish word of the day it was really sort of if I hadn't been me I was would have been sort of like because I knew what they were doing I would be kind of scared what are those angry teenagers doing People, I decided to renew my gym membership, something that I let lapse last spring. Well, the spring 2020, because I thought, Corona? No, I ain't going to no gym no more. So today, I'm buying a new membership. It's a good day for muscles, a bad day for my fat cells. So here we go. This says friskies and sweaties, which is sort of uh, healthy and sweaty. Yeah, that's a sales pitch, isn't it? So people are a lot more broke, but hopefully with a better conscience. Then I met an old friend. Hello. Hello. That woman. I showed you, I used to know her when I first moved to Stockholm. I've stopped my bike because like, this needs my attention. Anyway, I, <laughs> I, uh, I told her, I said, oh, well, you're on my Instagram story now. And she said, oh, Instagram, yes, yes. And I sort, sort of, I suspected she wasn't quite au courant with the latest technology. So I said, you do have Instagram? Yes, 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 she said. Oh, they, oh, you could just open Instagram and, and watch it. And she said, open it. Yes, the app. And then she said, it's an app? And I said, well, how else do you watch Instagram? And she Googles the people that's like celebrities. She Googles them and then she goes into... And then, so, you know, their Instagram post comes up. That's the way she watches Instagram. She hasn't got the app. I told her, get the app, and she said, I might. And I said, no, you don't, you, you've got to get it, or I'm going to beat you up. And then she said, well, and then I stopped lying to you. No, I didn't say that I was going to beat her up, but I said, it's so much easier. But she was like, some people I know sort of, they're so scared that people might get, so I, I said, you can be anonymous. You don't have, you can just put a cat there. But it's so much easier to follow people than to Google them. And I said, you miss a hell of a lot. And don't get me started on Facebook. So, what do you think we are about to eat? Something vegan. Yes? And if I say the three of us, what's the one thing this summer that was the most fun we had Bra mat, så fin och landad och härlig alltså. Mycket bra, ja, mycket, mycket bra att också. Ja, nej, men absolut. Jag är väldigt stor del i det. Hallå! Vad bäst! Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.